Today we're looking at a wide variety of vegetables growing inside this high tunnel such as turnips and carrots, loose leaf lettuce, romaine lettuce, onions, carrots, and the reason that we can grow these crops in this greenhouse is just the protection that's provided by the high tunnel trapping the solar heat even through the winter and we're going to meet Gary Scott with Twin Springs Farm who's going to explain how he grows these crops. Hello, Gary. Hey, good Andy. Good to see you. You've got a great operation here. Thank you. In lettuce production. Could you just tell us from the beginning how you grow? How are you going to grow these crops? Yeah. Well, the first thing is is um, <clears throat> prior to getting started with putting the the young plugs in the ground, we put down compost. We put down about four inches of compost that was spread across the rows, that was turned into the soil, and then we put in alfalfa meal, which is high in protein. I think it's uh, real effective in growing, in particular, lettuce greens uh, and greens in general. So that was incorporated down, and then once we smoothed out the rows with a row rake, uh, we put down the drip irrigation. This drip irrigation is eight inches on center. And these wire, wire hoops here, <coughs> go over top of the lettuce once we've, we've finished planting the, planting the plugs into the ground. Then we pull this remake cloth at night because these tunnels are not heated. So there's no heat in here other than the heat that we capture. We shut the tunnels about three o'clock in the afternoon and then we pull these row covers over it. So at night that keeps, when it gets down to say the low to mid twenties, that'll keep frost uh, from penetrating and getting down to the plants. Now this particular lettuce is called winter density and it's very cold tolerant. It actually could survive low to mid 20s but I like to keep the, the, the heat captured up underneath there and again the frost, keep the frost from penetrating, uh, kick starts it as far as growth goes. Hey Andy, and this is the front part of the high tunnel, and basically this is the only section that I heat. I just heat this front section here, and this is where we seed all of our plug trays, and she's seeding lettuce right now. That's a 128 plug tray, and we do seed by hand. These plug trays here are about four to five days old, and you can see the lettuce is starting to come up, and that's baby bok choy that's just started to come up. Okay, and Andy, these uh, four plug trays were recently uh, seeded and they're sitting on top of a heat mat, just like those are sitting on top of a heat mat. And these are plug trays that are in several different transitions. This is uh, Swiss chard, this is uh, red Russian kale, turnips, red Russian kale. These are, again, young baby turnips, and this is some more red Russian kale. These are beautiful crops, Gary. Please tell us, how do you sell all of these vegetables? Well, I do go to farm markets, and I have customers that come on the farm and buy, and I have some CSA customers. I'm also one of the founding farms of First Hand Farmers Cooperative, which is a for-profit co-op that was started. And uh, one of the nice things about it is that gives the customer more selection and variety, but it also, uh, you're basically pre-selling some of your product in advance. Uh, and I do think it's important that you work out relationships with wholesale customers that know what you have coming because uh, once you go into production, you've gotta be able to move it. Uh, broccoli or lettuce is just not gonna sit there and wait for you to move it. For more information about high tunnel production of winter vegetables, contact your local extension office. And we'll see you next time on From the Ground Up.